I'm a natural bodybuilder and over the past 14 days, I've cut my calories, dropped in weight, and trained harder than ever. And it's all led up to this very moment, show day. One day out today, officially. I am so excited to share this journey with you guys. Thank you for coming along. It has been very, very difficult and very hard. Today's the last day. We got a few things to take care of, tighten up a little bit, drop water, work on posing, and then we will conquer and we will become basically the next Mr. Olympia at this point. My whole life, I've been a big dreamer. I've never thought to myself that I can't do something. What's up guys, Jesse James West here. Uh, this is my Finnish YouTube channel. I've worked my ass off to get where I am, and I'm gonna prove to everybody that you can do anything you put your mind to. This prep was a whole nother level of relentless. While managing everything, I still pushed through and I conquered, and now it's time to take it to the stage. gentlemen we are about to pose it is our last round of practice with posing with sir kyle we're here at kingdom fitness in new jersey and i have a little gift for him so let's head inside sir kyle i have a sir gift for you okay when a 2xl fit you yeah. it will well you're in luck because we got brand new merch Very this nice. one's for you for show day if you want to wear it i, would, I think it'd be cool <laughs> relentless <laughs> athletics baby i'll wear it we got to represent the team all right so we're going to run some posing right now we're going to go through men's physique and then classic. I don't expect to be skin pumping full. Yeah. But uh, it's just very dull. We are already running into some major issues. I was looking really flat, and that just means I need more food. It was time to head to the hotel to hopefully carb up. Yeah, we gonna look good. I might be flat right now, but just wait. We got ourselves a champion bedroom, all right? It's time to eat. I'm starving and I am really cranky. 200 grams of rice, six ounces of ground turkey. Gotta eat this and then check out with Kyle in one hour. We got tanning in two hours. I'm gonna just chill. I'm not feeling myself right now. I'm currently 173.9. I'm gonna send it to Coach Kyle and then I'm also gonna send him a physique update. He likes to check in after each meal to make sure I'm on point and I'm filling up and I'm not looking flat like I did this morning. So it is currently 4.30 and we're tanning at five. All right, it's time to go get a tan. We got a camera, we got a baggy shirt, we got loose shorts, and we have a sock. It's not on yet and it's not going on my feet. So use your imagination of what this is for. I'm just worried for the sock on and it's just not gonna be a big day and it's just gonna fall off and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me, please. I haven't eaten in two weeks. I'm here to defeat Seabomb. <laughs> is, he, is he here? Are you filming me, sir? He's filming, uh, he's just filming me. It. We're about to go in and get tanned. I'm gonna leave looking like Snooki from Jersey Shore. That's the goal. Not only my girlfriend's the only one seeing this view, but you know what? It's okay. I wish I looked like this all the time. I am all tanned up. That was the most extraordinary experience of my life. I haven't been around that many naked men since college across. We got sheets because if you get tanner on the white hotel sheets, you get fined $500. 500? 500, 500 bucks. I saw some competitors while I was in there, okay? Mostly I just saw a bunch of little dinglings. It was a mixture of people that looked new to the gym, uh, older guys, and then some guys that I was like, all right, so you're what I gotta be, but the lucky sock. I'm gonna be giving this away to one subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, you're tan. Yeah, you like that, don't you? It looks good. It doesn't look too dark. I mean, your face looks pretty white. This is my first coat, and I have two more. Some woman was on all fours, spraying, and she's like, "Can you move the sock to the side?" She starts spraying. She sprayed up the crevice of my butt. I literally was like, "Ooh." Good thing. Yeah, it was a jungle before. <laughs> we get a meal. 165 grams of lean protein, 180 grams of jasmine rice, 25 carbs from rice cakes, and some almond nut butter, the second best nut butter you could find in the world. After getting more carbs in me, I was starting to fill up and look a little bit better. But it was time to go get my second tan. So I'm getting my tan right now, and I just wanna say all my biggest fans are here, look. It's 10 o'clock at night. I have finished 
my second coat of tan. I am officially the last person in the room. We've now graduated to some more agua. Before our last meal, we we're gonna have 16 ounces of water. I have yet to cut water yet. I'm just listening to Coach Kyle, trusting the process. So we're gonna have this. I can feel myself filling out compared to earlier today. So I think we're on track for a very good day tomorrow. Upon show day, AKA tomorrow, I need to show up peeled and shredded and dry. Now, because I'm natty and I'm not taking any diuretics, we gotta do a natural way. So come with me and let's have a good time. Can I get two shots of Tito's? You guys probably think it's super counterproductive to actually have alcohol the night before a bodybuilding show, but it's to dehydrate you, get all the water out of your body, therefore you look tighter and better on stage tomorrow. And we have a little bit of a good time tonight. Cheers to myself and to a championship win tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> all the bodybuilders outside are like taking their diuretic pills, doing it the unnatural way. Boys, we're doing it natty. That doesn't smell like champion to you. I don't know what does. Thank you. I'm gonna win it for you, okay? This one's for you. I love you, Martha. I don't know if her name was Martha. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out the stage and see what it's like, kind of get a feel for it. I don't want to feel too, you know, shocked tomorrow. So hopefully we can get in and see what it's like. Today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global leader in men's hygiene and grooming tools. Manscaped has created the ultimate men's grooming kit for the modern day man. Introducing the Platinum Package 4.0 men's grooming kit that you guys need to go pick up. With Manscaped's new two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and their body wash, I've cut my shower time in half. And as we know, time is money. Whether you guys are going out in the town for business or even for pleasure, Manscaped has your back to smell your best. Babe, come here, smell me, smell me. You smell so good. Last but not least, we have the Lawnmower 4.0. You guys can use it on your face, down there, in the crack, literally anywhere, and it won't leave you with any bumps or cuts. Sign up for the Peak Hygiene Plan and you'll get all of your favorite Manscaped products replenished and sent straight to your door hassle-free. Again, that is code JJW to support me, the channel, and Manscaped, and get 20% off, two free gifts, and free international shipping. I love you guys. Sick. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be up there. I'm gonna be posing. I'm gonna look amazing. Best I've ever looked in my life. I pushed myself to my limits to get to this point. If anyone ever tells you that you cannot accomplish something, you cannot do something, that is a lie. You need to stay relentless, work hard, and accomplish anything you ever see as a barrier. But yeah, it looks awesome. Show day, baby! Ooh, all right, good morning, everyone. It's show day, it's time to put on a show, and I gotta pee. See how I'm looking? I'm looking nice and saucy, man. Okay, I definitely look really freaking good, and I look dry, for sure. I'm not watery, so that's really good. I think once I get a little bit of food in me, I'm gonna start looking really, really good and a little bigger, which is kind of like the goal, so. 172.8, okay. We gotta get eight ounces of coffee, eight ounces of water, and send a bunch of photos to Kyle, and he'll let me know if I can eat. Breakfast is for champions. We're heading down to get my last coat of tan. I'm gonna enjoy myself three very cold eggs, because I don't have a microwave. 90 grams of rice, black coffee, and seven rice cakes. Oh my God. My throat is so dry, even like a slithery egg is not going down. The rice is just piling in my throat. It's okay. It's so f***ing dry, bro. Wow. We got to check in. I've never done this. I'm just going to go where everyone else goes. We're about to check in. Behind me is the beautiful stage. I'm excited to be on there. I'm starting to not feel nervous and just feel pure excitement. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. That's the main goal is fun and a banger. We are going to be doing novice and open. I'm doing four different times on the stage. We're gonna see how it goes. So I just found out that I should be 197 because I'm gonna be going against people that are 197. That's a heavy weight class. With the competition only a few hours away, the nerves started to kick in. But I had to remember to stay cool and collective, and that confidence is key. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We are backstage. This is my first time backstage. It's very packed, very crammed. Coach Kyle told me he wants me to lay down, get my legs up. I'm gonna do that now. Get all the blood and the water to drain out of my legs. That way I look a little bit sharper on camera, 
and also on stage, most importantly. I'm excited, I'm nervous. Here's the thing, you guys don't realize that excitement and nerves are the exact same thing in your brain. When you feel excited and you're nervous, your body responds the exact same way. So if you do think that you are nervous, just tell yourself, no, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to do this. I'm not nervous. And then you're gonna crush it. We have a lovely, lovely muffin from Dunkin' Donuts. It's an anabolic muffin at this point. Who knows what's in it? Coach Kyle's recommending I eat this entire thing, take a swig of water, and then we're gonna get pumped up, we're gonna hit the stage, we're gonna hit it strong, and I'm excited. I have not eaten something like this in a while. Oh my God. I'd be lying to say that I wasn't nervous to step on stage for the first time. I had to remind myself how exciting this experience was that it's my first time stepping on stage and to show off my greatest physique I have ever achieved yet. Now it's the most important that I show up on stage looking my absolute best as prejudging is going to determine my placing in finals. Without further ado, it's showtime. First I went on stage for Classic Physique Novice Division. Wipe down. That's so hard. I think I'm in last. Look, look up. <laughs> no, you're not. You got first call. Up. Is that good? Yeah, you're in first call. Up. Okay. So you got at least top five. Okay. Let's go. That was cool. For my first time on stage. It's not that scary. It's just hard to think. Still. I quickly got back on stage for the classic physique open division. Front double bicep. Side chest. And these guys were absolutely monstrous. Face the curtain, please. Back double bicep. Add some thighs. For the first time, I'm gonna take it. All right, so we're going on men's physique. Obviously, I'm going literally one after another. This is more than a workout I could ever ask for, but you know what? This is fun. This is an amazing experience. Yeah, <laughs> They're inside out. They're inside out, yo. Do you these are ruined? I, I put them on inside out and got tanner all over. But luckily I had a backup pair of trunks. All right, we're gonna have some honey, some salt, right before I step on stage, hopefully just bam! Pop a little bit of basically natural Viagra. This is so much fun, great first experience. Definitely recommend doing this. I know it was earlier, but that was just because I was a little angry. So She's taking my between now, so you're gonna no line up right here. Honey? I was now fighting for my position to be top five in the open men's physique division which was absolutely huge for a natural bodybuilder. We're going up right away. We're going again, baby. Let's go. I fought my way to be top five callouts for the open division as well. Holy hell. All right, we got done. <laughs> Claudia made me a special snack for after the show. All right, finals are at five o'clock, baby. Let's get it. I'm gonna win and defeat some. All right, we gotta send some photos to Kyle once again. He says for me to weigh in. Yes, I know my tan looks like poop on my face. 172.8, 172.8. So I'm gonna take some photos, send it to him, and we're gonna see if we can get some food in me. We have a few. We still have a lot of time before finals. I gotta get my tan fixed. I look so what is it? After resting up a bit, we were about to embark on an insane journey of my first ever finals. But first, we needed a meal. Compared to everybody else, I definitely have the genetics and the look that they're looking for, and that's why they'll place me higher at first and then move me down. But I don't have the size comparison to everyone else. This is a team relentless bond, all right? Thank you everybody for showing up. We're gonna go into this finals. I'm gonna defeat Seabum once and for all and become next Mr. Olympia. Can I get a stay relentless on three? One, two, three. Stay relentless. Let's go. Final season, baby. Hey, yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Woo! Good luck, brother. All right, guys. So we just got our tan all touched up. We're backstage right now for finals. We're gonna be doing my routine, which I've been practicing like crazy. It's my favorite thing that I really was looking forward to this entire entire journey. So I'm excited that it's finally here, 
and uh, it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna end strong, we're gonna push through. I have a cheeseburger on Uber Eats coming from Burger King right now, because Kyle says, you need a cheeseburger, and I'm like, do I look like Burger King? No, I'm Jesse King. All right, so we got my, my kid's meal, a Capri Sun. We're not gonna drink this. I had to choose a kid's toy. This is my good luck trophy and token for the day. We got a little burger, American cheese, and some nice beef. It's pretty good. I will say my favorite part about all this is the camaraderie and the support you get from everyone. No one here has been selfish. No one's been annoying. Everyone's been helping each other. Like I walk in and they're just blotting me down. Some random competitors, like yo, you're 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 sweating through your tan, and, and she's been really nice. And then um, it's just it's a very big supportive community, which is so cool. got ourselves our first little medal, novice classic fifth place. We'll take it, all right? We'll take it, we'll take it. I'm not that happy, but I'll deal with it. We got the pinks for the finals, baby. We resurrected them from the dead. I gotta put these on, they're a little wet. It ain't no big deal. Joey got kicked out for filming, so. All right, man, got kicked out. Couldn't get the routine. Final pump up. We go out, we hit one pose, and we are finished. Number 31. Third place to number 29, Jesse James West. My overall finals placings were the following. I placed third in Men's Physique Novice, fourth in Men's Physique Open, fifth place in Men's Physique Classic Novice, and ninth place in Men's Classic Physique Open, which I am all super happy with. Two places away from being qualified. That's not bad for my first show. We took home three decent, I'd say somewhat of a dub. That's pretty good. This journey was not an easy one, but in the end, it was absolutely worth the pain endured. Thank you so much for all of you watching and supporting me and coming along for this journey. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn your post notifications. And until next time, do not forget, most importantly, stay relentless. Peace.